episode of Rebuilding Portsmouth. Now, in our last episode, we snuck, I say snuck through uh, to the next round of the Champions League by beating Red Bull Salzburg five goals to nil, but it was necessary after the poor performance in the first leg, um, which I was really shocked about. But, you know, we I think we handled the game well and did what we needed to do and got ourselves to the quarterfinals, where we were, of course, drawn against Ajax, which um, we will be seeing the second leg of in today's episode. Uh, we're going to be doing a double live comp, so we're going to do in City, and then we're going to be doing Ajax uh, straight after that, because I figured, you know, they're both important games and we're going to bundle them in. So you might see a few more of these double live comms in the future if um, there are things to, you know, uh, discuss, so to speak, um, it, or if there's two important games. So what I'm going to do generally in these double live comp episodes, if there is um, quite a few games which there are, I won't be able to show the highlights of all of them because then the episode we're talking 45, 50 minutes long and that, that's just silly. Um, so what we're going to do is I will go through the games, of course, like I always do, but I won't be able to show the 3D highlights of these games uh, because it would just take too long. So in our first match, we were away at Southampton and I basically decided to just go for it. Um, we went two up top in this one and very nearly screwed the pooch on this one. Um, despite the fact that we went two up top, Southampton took the lead early on through Luciano Vieto, that thorn in my side of a man. But then just before half time, Norman Millington doing what he does best and equalised for us. And then in the second half, Luigi Lucarelli latched onto a long ball uh, at the far post and managed to make it 2 1. I then just decided to stick to my guns and make sure that we got the win uh, because I don't know how many wins in a row that makes it in the league. Uh, one, okay, so not that many, but we're unbeaten in the league since December uh, at the moment, at, at that po moment. We've only, you know, those two wins, uh, defeats there. So we won against Forest, won against Sheffield United, so one, two, three. And then that was the fourth straight win in the league. And it, it's good. It got us back on winning form. Now, in our next match, we travelled to Spurs, and this game was just a mental game, as you can see from the stats here. Um, in fact... No, I won't. But my point is, um, we were both down to 10 men at half time in this one. So we took the lead in the 24th minute, and that was perfect. Now, what I'm going to put on the screen now is a screenshot of what happened just as as that goal went in. The reason I've taken this screenshot is because, as you can see, we'd already, we were 7 nil up on clear cut chances at this point, and we'd missed six in a row, like one on one situations. It was, oh, I was pulling my hair up. Because when that happened and we went one up, I thought, mm, okay, something's going to screw up here. And then. That is exactly what happened. Literally seconds after that, Pedro Miguel Lopez Souza was red carded. And I thought, oh God, we're going to end up losing this game despite having all those clear cut opportunities. Well, um, Spurs did equalise in the 33th minute through Unal, which was disappointing. But then we got a penalty just before half time, and Alexander Dragovic was sent off for Spurs in the same process. So I immediately reverted back to an attacking approach, and we were winning 1 0 at half time thanks to Gorincha's penalty. Good stuff, you might say. Well, in the second half, we continued to play well, and Spurs came back into the game at this point, sort of, you know, it was a bit more even, and Carlos Vieira equalised for them on 68 minutes, and I was disappointed. But then just two minutes later, a long ball lumped in from Santos, and Millington with the flick on header, scoring yet another goal. And also, look at the number, look at this. We won 12-5 on clear cuts. That's how open this game was. Um, we were maybe lucky to get through, but I think overall we probably did deserve it still. But it was a huge monkey off our back to go and get a win here at Spurs, um, especially in a game where the odds were against us so to speak so that was hugely important in our next match we traveled to Burnley and it was although the same scoreline the actual match itself was a, a smoother one for us here um we took the lead on eight minutes through Norman Millington has had the month of his life I cannot believe how good he's been um and also by the way despite winning like five in a row or six in a row in the league still didn't win manager of the month good stuff um <laughs> it's impossible uh, all like bear in mind we are right in there in the battle and every single one of the other managers of the top four have won manager of the months at least twice so far but not me because <laughs> you know it's much easier to do this sort of thing with Portsmouth than it is with Chelsea United or City obviously um, but also City did meet Man United 5-0 this month so it's the, the league is looking very interesting and I'll show you that in a sec um, people also wanted to see my manager attributes and manager stats so I will try and show you that in a sec as well um but then, yeah, Nicola Ragnacki uh, equalised for Burnley from a free kick with their uh, first proper chance. The, I say first proper chance. It was a good long-range free kick, but mm, perhaps Lucas Vega should have done better with this one. Uh, Robert Gray did finally make his comeback, and he hasn't got injured again, which is good. He's looking solid again. Now he's got full match fitness. He is making the difference for us. Uh, but as you can see, Millington put us back in front and then made it even worse for them by completing his hat-trick on the half-an-hour mark. Um, Burnley did get one back through Sonny Stewart, but he was later... Um, taken off injured so we managed to get away with another 3-2 victory lots of goals being scored a few being conceded as well and if you want to see the match stats for that one you can see them like so um in our next game we just continued this an insane run of form against Leicester it was a much easier game um however the Connor Barnes own goal was um 
interesting to the point where at one point in this game and, and you'll see another screenshot on your uh, um screen at the moment because i felt the need to screenshot this too um leicester are actually beating us despite having no shots that that is impressive no shots in fact i'm going to show you the um Basically, Connor Barnes slide tackled it into his own net from the edge of the area. Um, let me just show you this in uh, in 2D and you'll understand what I mean and how confused I was when this actually happened. So Schmeichel's long ball through. Like we At this point, I, th I can't remember how many shots we actually had at this point. You'll see on the... Uh, but look, Connor Barnes basically shot from the edge of our area and scored for Leicester. It was stupid, but it happened. And um, yeah, so I was a little bit annoyed at that point because we were a goal down um, despite them not actually having a shot yet. So that was interesting, but we managed to come back and we were very, very good on the night and deserved to take all three points, which is exactly what we did. Uh, goals from Ivancic, would you believe, Millington again, and of course, Gerald Van Os, who's had a superb month as well, meaning that it didn't make much difference to us in the long run. In our final, I don't know if it is our final game of the month or not, actually. Um, we travelled to Swansea, and this was a crucial one again because Swansea are struggling in the league, and we needed to come there and win. Millington again on the score sheet, Dylan Verstraten, David Morley got one back for Swansea later on in the game, um, but we did manage to once again get across the line. And I think from what I saw in the stats, we probably deserved it again. Yeah, I, I'd say so. It sort of only thing they had more of was offsides, and they blocked a few more shots. So that was the league, and as you can see, that meant one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight straight Premier League wins. And what that means for us is this. We are three points behind Manchester United now. Just three points off the top of the league. And we are now three points clear of Manchester City and five clear of Chelsea. We have really had a good month. And those, I managed to see Norman Millington's 32 in 32. If he's not top goal scorer in this league, I will flip out because... What's probably going to happen is Robson will end up getting like 10 in his last six or something uh, and winning it. But hey, uh, Santos is catching Patrick Roberts on most things, but I don't think he's ever going to really be able to have the most assists, but he's still got plenty. Um, so there you go. I mean, 81 goals scored this season, which is not a bad return. Um, United and City both have 89. Our goal differences is worse than the others, and that could be a problem. But bear in mind, next month, like, I think the next month's ep next episode is probably going to be a double live come again, because we've got Man United and Chelsea at home in back-to-back -back matches. Wins in those games could really throw us into a title race, and I did not expect to be there. But that little run of form we've been on lately has been phenomenal. Getting Robert Gray back and Marcelo and Archubi and everybody fit again um, has been has proven just how good this side actually is. And I think with a couple of adjustments, so a new right back for a start, a little few more reinforcements in certain areas, we could really be ready to challenge for everything next season. But that's what's to say we can't do it this year? Who knows? You know, we're still in the title race. We're only three points off the top and we do still have to play United at home. United have already, this month, they dropped points by losing 5-0 at City. But City have also dropped points by losing at Chelsea, I think. Um, or drawing. But United also lost 3-1 against Nottingham Forest, who are up to sixth now. So impressive for them as well. Uh, Fulham still look absolutely doomed with just two wins out of 32. But bear in mind, we've only lost two matches all season, and that is the best defeat record. Like, we've lost to Man United away, and we lost to Leicester um, away, which was a really weird game. I think we're unbeaten at home. In fact, I think our home record is absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, still unbeaten at home. If we can go unbeaten at home the rest of the season, I think there's a real chance. Anyway, that's enough of me babbling on. Uh, let me just take you back and show you what happened in the final game of the month. We won against Ajax by one goal to nil. Now, it was disappointing. I think we probably should have won by more goals. Ajax were not a good, not good. Uh, Millington, of course, scored another goal, and I'll show you how many goals he's on uh, now, because it is getting silly. Uh, and by silly, I mean amazing. Um, so, yeah, we... We won, and we do take a 1-0 lead to Holland for our second leg. So it's going to be tough still, but the point is we didn't concede any away goals, um, which is crucial for us. It is only 1-0, but I think we've probably got it in us to go to Holland and take them on, basically. Uh, if, you look at the, if you look at the stats for the game, I think we probably should have done better. Um, but, you know, they defended well and limited us, and credit to them for doing that. Um, like... And that brings us to well, today against Manchester City. Now, in this episode, you're going to see City and you're going to see Ajax. Uh, first, I'm going to quickly show you the squad, and I will go to my manager stats. So, Millington, 52 appearances, 45 goals he's now scored this season. He has to hit the big 50, hasn't he? He's already beaten our his record and our record of 43 uh, for this save with 45 goals this year. And there's still six league games, uh, at least two cup games, which are in today's episode, potentially... 
you know, he's got another 10 games this season, maybe, if things go well for us in some things. You know, there's e he could easily get 55 goals this year. I say easily. Vanosh has got 13 as well. Marcio with 12. Archubi and Santos contributing 10 each as well. Uh, Assists-wise, Vanosh and Santos with 21 each now. Vanosh is starting to get absolutely superb. Archubi on 18. I'm certain he will cross into the 20s as well. Player of the match is Millington uh, with 11. Vanosh with 8. Um, yellow cards. 15 for Tony Ivancic. Calm down, Tony. Uh, two red cards as well. Average rating, Santos, of course, is the best, but not quite as good as he was last year. Aerial challenges, Lopez Souza. Key passes, Vanosh with 118. He's really started to get into his stride now, so I think Santos will struggle to catch that. Key tackles, 46 for Lopez Souza. And interceptions, of course. Uh, Robert Grace, he's probably starting to catch up a little bit now because he's doing what he does. Uh, at value now, Santos at 29 million. Right. Now, someone wants to see my... Ugh my profile okay let's do that then um let's go into right is this it right wow fuck me so i've not i've not actually looked at this since we started doing the save um so let's see what we've got here uh 557 games played look at these stats defensive coaching 20 tactical coaching 20 mental coaching 20 wow um Media handling, surprisingly large, considering I never actually do press conferences. Uh, decent scouting knowledge. So games played, 557. Goals for 1,200 on the dot. Goals against, 832. Win percentage, 53 is not bad. Uh, we've won, oh, I've actually won 300 matches in charge of Pons uh, Ponsmouth. Best relationships, Andre Vias Boas, Chris Powell, Julian Lopetigui, and Roger Schmidt, and Zinedine Zidane. Uh, worst opinion, Steve Brown, Antonio Conte, Mourinho, Koeman, and John Sheridan, weirdly. Um, I guess things have to do with Southampton probably comes into that. Um, career achievements. One first place, four seconds, and two thirds. I don't really know exactly what that means. We need more achievements on there, basically. But there you go. That's my sort of profile, so to speak. Um, I'm amazed that the attributes are as high as that. But then again, I suppose we are, what, like 10, 11 years into the save now. And I do have a continental reputation, so fair enough, guys. Right, so there we go. Um, let's get straight into today's game so this episode doesn't go on for too long. It's Manchester City in the... Cup semi-final. Now, because it's a semi-final, I've just decided um, to go for it like crazy. Um, well, not go for it like crazy. We're just going to play our standard tactic with the strongest team we physically can. Millington, Santos, Vanos, Archubi, Gomez, Ivancic, Barnes, Great, Lopez, Souza, Marcelo, and Balongo. For me, that is our strongest starting eleven. Um, Peralta has also broken his toe, and he's going to be out for like two months, although he'll be back probably in about three or four weeks now because of how long this episode's been in terms of game time. So hopefully uh, that won't you know, that's an area we need to have another player. The after that has done well covering in that midfield area. Um, I'm thinking, you know, another centre mid and a right back, maybe even two right backs, uh, one sort of youngster with a lot of potential and one like world-class right back is probably where I'm going to be looking in the summer, depending on what we get for transfer money. And, you know, we're projected to make a profit this year of £133 million. Pounds, so I'm hoping that I'll get a decent, decent whack of what, decent whack of Wonga. Um, so let's go for this. Um, a couple of my players were wanted by Bayern Munich, interestingly, I know. It's Santos and Ivancic, I think it was. Or was it Millington? Or no, it was Vanos and Santos. Uh, both came to me and said they want to leave and join Bayern Munich. I said, uh, I used the old, you know, you won't get enough game time there. And it worked, so that's good. Um, I'm worried, but I don't see... Oh, that's interesting. No Robson. Robson's not even in the... Robson is not even in the uh, squad. Patrick Roberts is off. Is on the bench, as is Balanta. So, ooh, are City resting players for this game? And if they are, is there a chance for us to reach an FA Cup final? Because if we reach the FA Cup final, we're either playing Oldham or... Oh, please don't be Stoke. Oldham or someone else. We could be playing a relatively weaker team if we were to get to the Cup final. Um, so, then again, I said that about Stoke, didn't I? <laughs> um, point is... Is there a chance for us today? Can what looks to be a slightly weaker Manchester City side be fallible? Like, as much as United will look like the unbeatable side, if anything, our luck is worse against City when we play them. Because, oh, what are you doing? 57 seconds on the clock and we already trail for Anthony Marshall. What was that for defending? Three players come to him at the same time there, guys. Come on, what are you doing? That's so poor. We're a goal down already, so we might have to throw a bit more at this game, um, which is disappointing because this is not really what I wanted to start this one. Um, it's the fact that, look, three of them start crowding around. Why doesn't one of them put a fucking tackle in? I mean, Jesus. Um, poor. Uh, we're going to have to go attacking. We're a goal down here. Um, we need to try and 
get something going forward. We've got a good squad out there. It's going to be a tough day for us. That, that much we know. But we've done well against City in the past. We've beaten them at Eastlands. And I think we've got a draw with them at home. So there's enough in the tank for me to believe that we can get back into this game. Millington! It's in the back of the net. It is 1-1 here at Wembley Stadium. And Millington scores his 46th goal of the season here. And frankly, when you look at that, we've probably been the better side in the opening 38 minutes. Though it has been very, very tight, I have to say. Our Tuby with the ball in. That's number 19 for assists. And Millington, I don't know what happened there. I think it was actually... Uh, Stones clears it against uh, King Millington, but it doesn't matter because it is one all in the semi-finals at Wembley. I think if we if we beat Manchester United, Chelsea, and Manchester City, our three big rivals, on the way to the FA to the FA Cup final, we have to win it. Then we've just got to to knock out the three biggest teams in the country in terms of um, stature at the moment. We, we have, you know, if we were to lose in the final again, we'd probably lose against Oldham or something, uh, lose against the championship side in the final, knowing us. Um, but hey, we're doing well. And, we you know, this has been a, a very, very impressive season from us, you know, to get to the final of the League Cup and now be, you know, semi-finals of the FA Cup, potentially semi-final of the Champions League as well, depending on what happens uh, later in this episode. Archubi knocks around the corner for Valos. Oh, how did he miss that? How did he miss that? That was an absolutely golden opportunity for uh, Gerald Vanos. What are you doing? Win the header. Why are you backing off? Don't let Ivancic try and win it. He's not a good header of the ball. We should know this by now. Um, Teixeira, he's come off the bench, I think. Whips it across the box. Lopez Sousa clears it. Grealish is just going to smash this in. Oh, well done, guys. Ivancic will clear this for Pompey as well. Um, 51 minutes on the clock, though. One all here. At Wembley, we're, we're giving them a crack, and that's what I like to see. You know, we've lost heavily against them in the past, even when we were doing quite well in the league. But oh, that's surely offside. Surely it's not offside, is it? It's two one to City. God damn it! Um, right. Wow, this has been such a cagey game. Look at the number of chances created. Sterling with the run, nobody tracked him, and oh, it's so much space. Okay, well we just have to carry on doing what we're doing at the moment. Maybe shakes things up with some changes. Uh oh, Patrick Roberts is on. No, we're not set pieces. Um, I don't even care. I'm always, always, hard, no way, hard, weaker. We can adjust that later, but I just want to make sure that it is quite clearly noted that Patrick Roberts is on the pitch and for someone to actually take an interest in that, you know. Um, Vanos has not been that special today, I have to say. So we're probably going to bring him off first and get after that on because he, 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 he's capable of doing good things. Um, oh, right. I mean, they have created one more click-up chance on us, so in theory... 2-1 is pretty much all oh, Millington's through here. Go on, Norm. Go on, Norm. Round the goalkeeper, and it is 2 all here at Wembley Stadium. And, yeah, I think we deserve that. 47 goals this season for Millington. Two more today. Now then. Now then, now then, now then. Do we... There's no replays in FA Cup semi-finals, is there? It's all or nothing on the day, isn't it? So, do we try and go control and just try to get to extra time now? Or do we do that at, like, last 10 minutes kind of stuff just to make sure that we get across the line and get that extra time? Because um, if we concede a goal now, we're going to go out. But I'm going to just go defensive for the last 10 minutes of this game just to make sure that we can get to um, get to extra time if there is extra time. Like we did against um, Red Bull Salzburg, just to give ourselves an extra half an hour to plan something. Plus, we've got some more subs, so... They've made all their substitutions already. We're going to have fresher legs in this extra time part. Um, so I'm going to just dump it back. Uh, well, I'll do that in a sec, actually. Uh, in fact, we'll do it on tactics menu here. Firstly, let's change the opposition instructions around a little bit. Um, right, so we're going to go back onto our usual tactic. Right, changes to make. Millington has been superb in this game. Um, Santos could probably do with coming off, you know. Uh, if I bring after it out there and then... Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. What have we got off the bench? Lucarelli, can Archie be playing the centre or is he more... No, he's not, is he? I'll tell you what. How fit is Archie actually? 69. He's, he's in better shape than Santos is. But he's not having such... Oh, this is such a tough decision to make. I'm thinking actually just Lucarelli on for Archie. Santos has that habit of just popping up with something. Um, I'm thinking Marcio is like a first half substitute um, in extra time, maybe. Let's do this. You know, we've got fresh legs on that right wing with Lucarelli, and you know how he, he's good for a goal in a big game. Um, I'm going to bring Marcio on at sort of half time in extra time to give them some fresh legs to run against, and that might just make the difference for us, you know. Uh, they are looking knackered, I'm aware of that, but what can I do? Um, I can make a substitution, that's what I can do. Right. Um, oh, God. Do I trust us? Right, oh, my life, we're so knackered here right now. Um, 
who do I mean? Who's the most knackered? Borja Gomez is absolutely fucked. But we've got no one that can play central. I really should have thought about this more before we made these substitutions. Um, Ivancic is slight, but I don't know one can play there either. Robert Gray, how is he doing? Oh, my life. Okay, right. Changes afoot. No, no, we can't do that. It, it's, it's... That would... Mm. Do we risk it? The thing is, Millington's probably in decent shape still, compared to some of these other teams. Uh, not teams, players. I'm thinking for straighten, actually, on for Lopez Souza to give us some fresh legs at the back, where we might actually need it more. Millington up front could still be good for a goal from a set piece or something. Um, that's what I'm thinking for this second. Now, let's just... Go control, just to be wary of counter-attacks, because we don't want to get caught up the pitch, particularly when we're, you know, um, so knackered as we are. Let's just see. Penalties would be interesting. I have to say that I think we've deserved at least the draw from this game, looking at the stats, although they have had more half chances than us and have been much better with the ball. So we'll just have to see. Um, you know, we've taken Manchester City to extra time as well. This is unfortunate because we've got the Ajax game coming up soon, and that could be a real danger match for us. And, oh, well, of course he has. Um... Oh, we'll just take him off then. Um, right, looks like we're heading to bloody hell. Um, we've only got 10 players to pick from as well. Ivancic, really? Uh, well. Millington. Yeah, I suppose I'm going to go with that just because there's obviously a reason why he's picked that. And I'm guessing it's because of the composure. But then Millington's got great composure. Then it's not always um, that important at this stage. I don't know. Um... We're going to have to have penalties taken. Maybe it is best to just let my assistant handle that. Right. Let's do this, guys. Penalty shootout in the FA Cup semi-final. Portsmouth versus Man... Ivancic 1-0 Portsmouth in the penalty shootout. Well done, Tony. This is a big, big moment because I think if there was a way of getting us through, it would be on penalties. I don't know what Belongo is going to be like um, in a penalty shootout. one all here. The pressure is on the king. Um, two goals today himself, so... But he's missed a few penalties for us in the past, but he hasn't today. 2-1 Portsmouth in the penalty shootout. We just need to keep on scoring them. That's basically our job. See if um, Belongo can come up and be a hero. No, it's 2 all in the penalty shootout. I've only ever live comed one penalty shootout in my uh, YouTube-ness. And that was against... Oh my god, Dylan for straight, and it's 3-2. That was in a St. Pauli live comm during a cup match that went on for just bloody ages. Um, Boris Boromisa, and it's three all in the penalty shootout. Anything we can do, they can do equally as well, it would seem. And it's starting to get a little bit worrying. Marcelo, the fullback, I worry about him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, damn it. We're going to come so close, I can feel it. They're going to score all their penalties. Roberts, yeah, they're going to score all their penalties. I'm going to have a drink now uh, to save my breath for the Ajax game because we're probably going to miss this one too. City have to miss this one, and I don't think they will do. They're just gonna. They're just so clinical. And it's Colin. He's a centre back, but he'll still score the penalty. Ah, oh, there you go. And we are out of the FA Cup at the semi-final stage. We've given it a bloody good go. Um, two more goals for Millington. Wow. I mean, we did our best. Um, if we hadn't conceded so early and just defended slightly better, but you know. We're out. It's a shame, but we've reached an FA Cup semi-final and a League Cup final this season, but that's two more trophies that we're not going to quite be able to win and it's disappointing right guys i will join you in a sec for the game against ajax right guys we're back um wow so let's have a look at the other game so real madrid well in fact real madrid are already through that's interesting real madrid have knocked out manchester city and atletico madrid have knocked out manchester united chelsea go into the game against barcelona with a 2-0 lead so both city though and united are both out so we'd get to play against in the semis if we get through here which you never know we might go out and we might you know we get to play against probably one of the spanish sides although maybe chelsea so at the moment things are looking quite positive there it's just one of those things i've also just given uh, normal Millington a new contract uh, to take him through to 2030 um now he's going to be on eighty-eight thousand a week but it's norman Millington. he's our best one of our best players. We need to keep him tied down. I was sorting out some new contracts for guys in the summer anyway. Um, right. Gomez obviously picked up an injury in that game in extra time, which I guess is to be expected. Um, so he will miss this one. He's only out for three weeks, so we should be okay there. But we do still, of course, have some fitness issues. But we can bring in someone like Ola after that. So it certainly isn't all um, all bad. Right. Um, we're going to play this system away at Ajax. Or should we just go defensive from the very off and just say, well, you know, break us down but I just I think I'd like to get the away goal that's the crucial thing here we can always use that later I think we're good enough to beat Ajax on the night anyway but you know we were, we were ten, they were 10 to 1 to win when we played them before um, 
so I don't know. I mean, they are playing a different sort of tactic, though. So hopefully um, this won't completely obliterate us and we won't live to regret those chances missed in the first, uh, you know, first game. I can't believe Millington has got 47 goals this season. Um, did RGB not get an assist for that cross? Oh, no, of course, because it was cleared off the guy, wasn't it? Right, let's go for this, guys. Um, all we have to do is avoid... Well, I mean, a 2-1 defeat would put us through. It's, it's about us scoring a goal, really. I think if we can score a goal, the pressure is massively on Ajax then because um, they need to score three. If we get one, they need three. And that is a... What is that? That's a hilarious throw out there. Unless I think something's going to happen early on. If we get an early goal, that could really um, shake things up. Look, Vanos ball through for Millington. Great save from... Uh, is that Bautista? So first good chance of the game comes in the first minute and it goes to Pompey. And that's what I like to see cleared away. Vanos to the edge of the area. Uh, hey, who knows? Maybe we'll come here and win. But um, Oh, Santos. Oh, we've started off strongly, but it is only the opening minute. But... Hmm, you know, maybe Millington should have put that chance away. Lopez Souza blocked on another good opportunity for Portsmouth um, in the opening three minutes of this game. This is kind of what it was like against Spurs, where we started off really well and had lots of good chances early on, but just didn't take them. And I got a bit worried after that. Vanos, tell you what, there's a ball through to Millington. Millington's so good at dribbling at defences now. It's great. Santos out wide. There's players bombing into the box here, and it's a good piece of play. And three minutes, only three minutes in here. We need to get a goal while we're on top, though. That's crucial here. If we can score while we're on top in this game, Archubi. Oh, you know, if we score while we're on top and make it three, make it uh, two nil on aggregate, then there's big chances for us to go through and get ourselves a plum draw. Now, I don't know when the next round of fixtures are in this because we've got a lot of games coming up lately and I'm not sure whether to do a double live com in the next one or it just depends on where the matches line up because we obviously want to do the semi-finals of the Champions League if we do get there. Round the corner for Millington, off the post and he's offside anyway, but we started strongly. Um, I'm pleased at the moment. But it could all change if I were to nick a, I say nick a goal. They've looked a lot better here. Ball in. Devoe. Nito. Good clearance. And what? Oh, win the ball. You, you, you're right there. Oh, that's a goal. 1-1 uh, one, one on aggregate now. We're in a weird, shaky territory here. Um, we need a goal. That was poor defending. And I kind of knew it was going to happen the moment that the guy didn't win the ball on the edge of the air. But there's still this huge gap. Like, I don't understand why we're, mm, he's too far forward. And um, Belongo's never going to keep that out. So one all here, and this could be a little bit... Please don't have us go out both. Oh, what? Don't worry, we've got Lucarelli, and I'm going to make the change just to get it done, like ripping off a band-aid. Get the change done. Lucarelli's not a bad player at all. So uh, Ajax have really started to come at us a little bit here, but we just need a goal. That's all we need. One goal. Vanosh to Lucarelli. Into Norman Millington. Cleared again. Vanosh again. Oh, my life. The amount of chances we've had so far. Oh, what the hell was that, Marcelo? Um, the amount of chances we've had in this game so far, we have to score. Good chances as well. They're not, you know, not weak chances. Ball through for Millington again. Goes for goal. Surely on. Oh, and again, it's blocked. Oh, my God. Um, come on, guys. You could do better than that. Lupe Souza and Robert Gray are going to do everything at the back to, in their power, but the, that goal conceded. We need a goal. Look right around the corner for Millington. Goal. Yes. Goal. No, what? Ah, oh, sorry, I was looking at the assistant and he was moving. Oh, my God. Right. Was he offside? I assume he probably was. Um, yeah. Oh, just. When it was played, he is just offside. That's a shame. But at least we've proven that we can get the ball in the net here. Um, so that is a bonus. We kind of do have to go a bit more attacking, really, because we need a goal. And that's all that really matters. Santos is balling. Ivancic, is that going to be offside as well? Probably. Two goals disallowed in this game for offside, both correctly so far. But my God, guys, come on. Um, I hate it. I hate when you get like a game where you get like four goals disallowed for offside. What are you doing? Uh, Ivanchich said, we need to go a bit more attacking because we need to impose ourselves on this game. Um, you know, we've had three good opportunities and two half chances and not taken them so far. That's poor. Um, still, looking like a lot of the highlights are coming from... Coming, oh, what the hell? Try to just win the ball as it's cleared up pitch. This is where Robert Gray is so important for us. Oh, that's a really poor pass. Millington's through here, surely. Or around the corner for Vanos. Oh, it's clear. Vanos is through, and it is 1-1 here, and that is crucial for Portsmouth. Ajax 1, Portsmouth 1. Gerald Vanos with the goal. Um, terrible defending from Ajax in the end there that's caught them out, but Ajax have proven a much tougher prospect, um, considering they are genuinely the underdogs in this tournament. Um, but poor goalkeeping, well, not poor goalkeeping, but poor defending from Lopez, and Vanos has got himself in their 14th goal of the season, and we are... Oh, for the fuck. Oh. Right, okay. 
Verstraten is the man for this job, but I can't believe Robert Graves going to... He better not be out injured again. Like, he's just come... Really? One ball over the top? And... All right, thank you. Um, I'd take a one all at half-time. You know, it's th they need two more goals now. You know, we've, we've backed them into a corner now. We've got the away goal, and that's crucial. Just don't let them score twice. If it's, you know... Potentially, I might try... Oh, what the hell? Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck me. Oh, come on, guys. You're better than this shit. See, look. If you get if you take your chances like they do, you'd be fine. But, like, Belongo, from that kind of angle... Oh, how often do we miss those? Right, come on, then. Just got to keep plugging away. They've been so clinical. Look at that. Eight shots. Eight on target. Nice. Um, thing is, I can't drop too deep on this, because if they... You know, only take... Oh, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> what is it about important matches for us? And I don't say it's because we've got younger players. Most of our players are like 28 years old now. It's not like they're all, you know... They were at one point, but these guys are all big enough and ugly enough now to... Oh my god, I can't believe we've conceded twice more in the first half with that shit. Right, okay, let's go. Um, they've had nine shots and they've had nine on target. We have to go. We've got to go and crack... On in the second half, I can't believe this. Oh, right. Um, let's just keep going. You know, another goal puts us back in the tie. We need to crack on here. Um, basically, we just need to throw. I mean, look how good we've been in the league lately. We just need to take some of that anger and energy that we've had in the league and just go at them a little bit. You know, they've. Oh, thank God. That can't be the same Raul. He'd be about fifty. Um, but at the moment, it just isn't happening for us. We might need to make a change. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to let this highlight play out. But I'm tempted to go two up top. Um, try to finish them. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, don't you dare let them score another one. There you go. Good stuff. Right, clear this downfield. I'm tempted to see what happens if we were to get... An oh, yes. Van is through again here. Get a good first touch. Goal. No! Oh, why can't you fucking... I don't understand this. Like, their players are clearly not as good as ours, yet we constantly miss those chances that they are taking. And it's so disappointing to see it every single time. Um, right, come on. When you he when you header, when you header, when you header. Oh, of course not. Uh, fucking ridiculous crap. Okay, um, they've had a lot of shots on target. My God. Um, and if you say it's the goalkeeper, it isn't. It just isn't. Like, our goalkeeper is better than theirs. What is he doing there, though? Um, right, well, we've got no choice but to throw this on... I don't believe this. I don't fucking believe this. Um, right. We're going to have to. We have really no choice in the matter. Um, Marcio's up for this. Well, he's got, he better be. Thankfully, Lucarelli's already on the pitch, so... Um, no, screw it. We're going to bring um, Garincha on. What? Have I already? Oh, of course, we've already had the two injuries as well, haven't we? Um, we've got no choice but to absolutely thrash this out now. Um, I can't believe it. I physically cannot believe it. And I'm sure you've got loads of reasons why this has happened or whatever, but if hindsight was my assistant, I'd be a much better manager, like I've said before. I can only do what I do. They've really done very, very well with keeping their shots on target. That's what I will say. Um, balling again at... Oh, what a save. Um, but we need more than this. We need to be better. We need two goals in this game. I cannot believe it. Um... If we go out now, I'd be so pissed off. I mean, we can see, I just hate the fact that we've had equally as good opportunities as them, and yet we just, in the same areas of the pitch, cannot seem to put the damn chances away. Lucarelli, Marcio, Millington, and again it's saved. Fuck me. <laughs> Millington again blocked. Marcio out wide to Santos. Santos is ball in, and again cleared. Right, get to that first. There you go, Connor Barnes. Lucarelli. Right, push forward is going to have to be the... Uh, prerogative of this one um but I, I just i don't think we're going to do it i think i think we're screwed basically i think every time they've got a good opportunity they've scored it whoa they've actually missed one fuck me um when it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen basically i think i've come to accept that um from <laughs> this season of fm millington around the corner for santos inside santos marcio it's safe to get oh off why didn't santos shoot is my question He's quite clearly in a great shooting position. Just shoot. Silver, Torreon. Back it comes to DeVoe. Ch Good tackle. Good tackle again. DeVoe. Round the corner of Chilberly, and that's almost certainly... Wow, he's missed again. Um, okay, they've started missing chances now, which is odd. Um, I suppose they've already won the game, haven't they, really? Uh, Millington. Santos. Get that ball across the box. Somebody in there. Nope. Oh, Jesus. Right. Lopez Souza now. 
We've been good enough to not lose this game 4-1. That's ridiculous. Lucarelli, go on. And another save. <laughs> Just, ah. Oh. <laughs> what can you do, eh? What can you do? Afra, Vanosh, Ivancic. Lucarelli around the corner and again cleared. I mean, it is going to be us battering the door down for the last four minutes of this, uh, last sort of five, six minutes of this match. That, that is not up for discussion. It's going to happen, but they'll almost certainly score another one. Um, good save and not on the rebound. There you go. Uh, how have we lost this 5-1 is absolutely beyond me. I'm in... I can't... No, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is an insane result and it's... Mental. Just mental. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. And we've been getting it in the... <sighs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, obviously that's because we've pushed up so high now, but I'm just in shock. This is the most disgraceful performance. Like, they've, had, they've actually had more clear-cut chances than us now. Um, but it's the fact that they've had one more, and they've won by five goals. Not another one, surely. I mean, I just, I don't know. We've just, the chances have been there multiple times in today's game. So many opportunities to score and they've just failed to do it. And this has been the problem often uh, in these games. You know, just, I can't believe we're going to go out of the Champions League at the quarterfinal stage when we got the best draw. After it, ball through Millington again and it's a goal. 6-2. I mean, just, it's, in, it's mental. You know, the amount of good opportunities we've had in this game and the amount we've created, we deserve... Like, even if we don't deserve to win this game, which, frankly... Uh, I'm sorry, no, I don't think we deserve to win it, what we're talking about. Like, um, you know, we've had less shots, less shots on target, less clear-cut chances. We don't deserve to win the game, obviously. But the fact that we've had... You know, we don't deserve to lose this by four goals. That is ridiculous. Um, but that's happened. Uh, so there we go. I, I'm very disappointed with their inability to take chances. We're out of the Champions League again with a ridiculous result there at Ajax, losing 6-2. It just goes all out the window, doesn't it, really? Um, no matter what you do. <laughs> so, in the space of an episode, this season we've gone out of the Champions League, League Cup, and... Uh, uh, but, on the plus side, we're still involved in the league, I guess. Um, yeah. Right, so, it doesn't matter what happens now, because um, there aren't going to be any extra games for us, which means, in the next episode, we can do the double Manchester United and Chelsea live comms. Let's see if we can win the league. Just completely fuck everyone and just say, right, come on then, we're going to win this league. That's our prerogative now. Chelsea are going to be occupied with the fact that they're through to the next round of the Champions League, so hopefully that will allow us to get a point... Uh, sorry, get the win over them. Who knows? Um, so, guys, if you like what you've seen, please drop a like on the video. If you'd like to even more than that, please subscribe to my channel um, for more Portsmouth and Red Star Belgrade in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. I'm a bit lost for words, if I'm honest. 6-2. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Um, right, well, we move on. Um, we'll go again next year, of course. You know, we've shown a lot this year for me. Getting to the cup final, getting to a semi-final of the uh, FA Cup and going out only on penalties and then having that kind of result to go out against Ajax was disappointing, I have to say. Um, but, you know, I think next year we're just going to come again, be a bit stronger, get a slightly bigger squad. Disappointing, but we move on. So, I will see you guys in the next episode for a double against Manchester United and Chelsea. See you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.